Welcome, Aqua Runner Chat, to the episode 437. This is crazy. We're going to play another chess variant that's very similar to the Extreme Mimic Pawn chess that we just played last week or a couple weeks ago, because I just love... It was a couple weeks ago. I love these variants where the pawns can't stop moving. So this one's got an interesting twist to it. If you like this episode, be sure to go watch Mimic Pawn Chess and Extreme Mimic Pawn Chess. You'll find them just a few episodes ago, because we've been experimenting with some different ways that pawns lose their cool and go crazy. So in this variant you start out having to move pawns, like in many of the others. However, if you... Whoops, I shouldn't be showing you that. Ah, don't look. Okay, if you... Don't don't go back. Don't pause the video. Just, just keep going forward. Okay, so if you move a pawn forward and it makes a capture, then the pawns calm down. Okay, so I'm going to put the exact rules in... Oh, look, I'm getting a challenge. It's from TryHard, though, so we're going to ignore that. This guy's a TryHard. Um, if you make a capture or the opponent makes a capture, everything reverts to normal chess. So the pawns are like out for blood, and after the blood has been outed, then they are very calm, and you're able to play chess again. However, they're on the edge of berserking again. This is called berserk chess because the guy who sent the idea to me named it that, and I think that's pretty cool. So let's see who clicks the link in the chat, and I'll put the rules in the chat of the chat of the game while the chat clicker clicks the chat link. Click. Got that? Okay, let's see who's going to do this right now. Okay, what we got? We got people in the chat right now. Nobody's clicking the link because they like me to just sit here and look like a doofus on the internet. So I'm going to, what am I going to do? Do I have this game? Do I have this game available? Let's see. I have a, a oh, 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 never mind. My backup plan is not going to be backing up anymore. Okay, so we're going to call it Berserk Mode when the pawns are berserking. And the game starts in Berserk Mode, where you may only make pawn moves, if possible. If you lose all your pawns, then you no longer have to honor Berserk Mode. The opponent still does. Now, if a capture is made, Berserk Mode ends, and you can then move anything you want. But if a check is made, it starts again. So when the pawns here check, then they're like, Rah! and then they can't stop moving again. Now, of course, if you're in check, you've got to get out of check, right? And that's why the if possible comes into play, because, you know, if you're in check and you can only get out by not moving a pawn, then don't move a pawn. The pawns only have to move if they can. So, you know, if you can move a pawn, then, then that's what you have to do. Okay, I hope that's making sense to everyone, especially Janiza12, because we're going to rely on him to make the rules happen. This is quite quite a complex rule set, more complicated than we usually do in an episode like this. And to be honest, we're just playing on a website where none of this is enforced. Uh, I'm going to try E5 and see how it goes. I mean, it's just a chessboard, right? So if he decides to do his own thing, I can't really stop him. I don't have that power. So I'm going to... I'm going to... Whoa, whoa, oh, a capture ends this stuff. So, so let's think about this for a moment. Um... I'm going to try to set up a nice uh, position <laughs> because if there's a capture, we're playing chess, which means we're going to be playing chess for most of the game. So what can I do that would be useful pawn moves? I guess this, right? Because it stops this. I'm being stupid. Let's let's play like this. C6, D5. Looks like a good way to control the center. I don't know why I wasted time with A6. That was stupid. But it seems like we're going to be playing chess mostly because I can avoid checking him. And then, you know, we're just playing, oh, but he, I can't avoid him checking me. What if he checks me? And then the pawns go crazy again. He could use that to his advantage, possibly. Let's see what happens. So there, if there's a capture here and another capture, then we're calm. Okay, we are in normal mode, which is pretty weird for me. I'm not used to being in normal mode. I mean, wake up in the morning, I start out in berserk mode, and, you know, I usually just stay that way all day. So now we're playing chess. This is fun. Look at this huge center I made. So that's great. Now let's just make some moves. So if I check him, we go back into Pawn Berserk mode. Now what kind of situation would I want when we do that? I'm thinking, let's get these horses in the game. I'm thinking I would want a situation where I don't have very many pawns to move. Because he'd have to make all these pawn moves while I set up a checkmate. Okay, okay. So let's see if we can do something like that. Uh, this looks pretty cool, right? I'm putting some pressure here. And if he blocks me, I fork him in the face. So that's fun. But I don't think I can really take advantage of this weakness, really. I mean, if I he could just castle. And that would be stymieing me. So let's just continue to play chess a bit more. I do like how, maybe maybe here, yeah, I do like how he's moved his side pawns, his rook pawns, as they say, his rook pawns, as they say in France. 
uh, because he can't now attack anything that moves to this square or this square with that normal trick, right? So it's looking pretty good for me. So we're going to play a bit more chess here, it looks like. Let's bring the rooks to the center. An important development move that a lot of beginners forget is to move the queen off the back rank. For example, this beginner that is currently my opponent forgot that. See how his, his queen moves queen over? I mean, cool move! Move your queen! But if it's not off the back rank, then... Oh, okay. If it's not off the back rank, then... Um... I'm out of words. <laughs> out of words! And still got, like, minutes to go. Um, then the rooks can't defend each other. And then they're sad. They're like, buddy, where are you? Hey, I can't see you. And then they feel alone. I think that's what happens. I don't really want to take that with the queen. But I'd better. Because if I take it with the knight, he could pin me, which would be pretty uncomfortable. So... What's going to trigger Berserk mode here is a check. And if either one of us checks the opponent, that's going to trigger Berserking. So that's going to change the nature of the universe here when that happens. So let's say I were to do this. Let's hypothetically, okay? So he has to capture back because he has to make a legal move. And then I have to start marching my pawns. I'm not going to trade queens. I don't think I want to start any Berserk mode. But if I were to do that, I would want to do it... Um... How would I want to do it? I would want to do it where I have no pawn moves left so that I could just checkmate him. Should I push here? That's not very good. Ah. Let's try this. This knight has a pretty good square here. Oh, okay, okay, oh, okay, okay. It's this way, I guess. Hmm. I knew about that. It's a good square right there. Ah, this is a real chin stroker. I'm obscuring my lips. That's why they call me the Lip Obscurer in my homeland. It's kind of an ungainly nickname, but <laughs> it's better than the other one they use. Let's see. Um, I'm running out of time. What I should try to do is lock up my pawns, actually. And then check him. That's what I should try to do. I should try to move all my pawns. Yeah. So that I can't move my pawns anymore. And leave him with pawn moves. That's going to be difficult. Hello to... Ah, why didn't he just take my knight? That was kind of weird. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh I'm missing stuff. I'm just yawning. I'm tired. But we're going to make some good moves. Coming up right here. Up next. Good moves. <laughs> what am I doing? Um, I'm not sure. I, I think I'm making chess moves. Okay, pretty defensive, pretty bad. I've got to get this knight. I've got to make my knight as good as his. Look, my knights are weak. One of them can move nowhere, and the other one uh, is on the side of the board. So let's put this knight here, which will then force some movement. But this is good. Ah, oh, I still can't drive him away. Not worried about that. Oh, there's been a check. You must move pawns now. LOL. <laughs> okay, crazy mode is starting. But fortunately, we've got a capture coming up right here, and that's going to bring th make things calm again. Okay, so now we're calm. So this doesn't seem great for me. I, I want to move pawns, though. I want to finish all my pawn moves so that after the next check, he's the one that has to go crazy. What are the, what's the way to do that? Lose your pawns. If I could just lose all my pawns, yes! Chess Wiz has the idea. In this game, you just try to lose all your pawns. That's what I'm going to do. I don't know why I was trying to win this pawn. You try to lose pawns in this variant. Step one, get out of Berserk mode. Step two, lose all your pawns. And then step three, check the opponent. And then he's like, pawns, 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 like this. He has to make his fingers go like this. And then you just win. Okay, so advanced pawns, of course. Move all my pawns until they're gone is the new strat. This should work. Comment in the chat. You need to specify if a get out of check capture ends the berserk mode. Yeah, it would do that because you're in it and then there was a capture. I think I made that clear. Okay, I've moved all my pawns almost. Let's move this one. Now, that might look like a stupid move. I just lost a pawn, but no, it's a brilliant move because... I say so. It's brilliant because he's got three pawn moves now. And um, I 
and now I've got a check ready for him. <laughs> oh yeah, this is gonna be so great. Uh, except there's gonna be captures. What did he just do? Shook that. There's gonna be captures here. I want to eliminate all the captures. Maybe I can't really do that. Check. Now he has to move pawns. So now I have to set up a checkmate. I can't move any pawns, and he can. So I just need a super butte checkmate here. Okay, how am I going to do this? Uh, <laughs> I have to allow him to promote. I'm working on this. Okay, does that look like checkmate? Yes, it does. But first, let's take his queen off the board, his second queen. It's not legal in this country. Okay, so queen a1, check. This looks good. I think it's going to be checkmate. He has to move a pawn. c4, smiley face, and now instead of ending the berserk, because I can't move. Oh, I have to move a pawn. No, he escaped the checkmate. This was such, this was like the one epic moment of the entire check. Okay, okay, so that's not what I expected. Man, that was frustrating. So so actually that was uh, kind of forced, right? He pushes here. Uh, I have to move upon, which I can't. A capture will end, a capture ends berserk mode. Oh, berserk mode is over. So he pushes here, berserk mode is over, guys. I could have just checkmated him. Oh, but instead I was kind of an idiot giving up my only queen, always a bad idea. Oh. Berserk mode was over because I captured that queen and then I could have checkmated him. Now this calls for a tongue face. Oh, I just went from happy to sad to tonguing. Only in the most platonic manner, of course. Okay, I've got a challenger. Oh, there's a challenger. 064 sending me a challenge and we know he's a sweet guy because of the tongue face. No, we know he's a sweet guy because he sent me a time control one plus four. And for those of you who have spent most of your lives watching this show, which is an unfortunate quantity, the you know that this is the best time control. So we're going to make sure this guy is okay with playing by the crazy rules. He, he says hello. Because sometimes people wander into the chat. They're just like, what's this chess whiz guy? Looks like he wants to play chess. <laughs> and then they make that stupid mistake. Oh, God, I don't want to play chess. Oh, well. Then he wants to play this crazy variant, right? So he says, okay. So every now and then someone comes in, he's like, you know, playing chess against me, and it just destroys my heart. I'm like, I have a backup heart because of that. It's called, it's called the auxiliary heart because of that exact reason. Okay, so we're just going to start with chess. Because there's been a capture. Anything goes. Capture was made. Okay. Okay, except I'm going to check him <laughs> just for fun. And then we're going to go crazy again. Maybe I should lose all my pawns first. Yes, I'm skipping step two. It's like step one, get out of berserk mode. Step two, lose all your pawns. Forgot that part. And then, okay, what do I block with? I think I'll just block with this because that kind of helps my development. Meanwhile, his queen is blocking his pawn, which is blocking his bishop. Man, <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not him. Let's see here. It says, calm down and speed like normal people. I think he means speak, and he just put the wrong letter in there. What is going on? Is this a chess player? B5? Huh? What if I take your pawn, man? Oh, he's using the strategy. No, his strategy of lose all your pawns. And then and then he's going to boom. <laughs> and then he'll, of course, he'll have nothing left. So there, that's my strategy here. Is to, uh, oh, oh, queen e6 was checked. My bad. Okay, so I'm not entirely aware of what's going on around me. Give me the take back. Give the take back, please. I have this problem all the time. All the time. Okay, so we're in this position. I have to move upon. And the problem I have is, yeah, let's stop. Let's stop the him from coming in just taking this because that would be that would be painful. The problem is that I have is I have no idea what's going on around me. That's generally a description of what the downside of my existence is. Okay, so I'll make the capture with the pawn, and we'll calm down the pawns. That that's more like it, right? So I'm sitting in the room, right, and I'm like, hmm. Hmm. Could there really be a four-dimensional cube? It would like it would move in and out of four four space. How much would that weigh? What would it What would it look? Oh, could there be a sphere like a hypersphere? Okay, there's been a capture. Now we can do our things. 
what are our things? And I'm like, huh, hypersphere. So if you like, if you move, it looks like a, a, b- a ball that's growing and shrinking as you move in the fourth dimension. Mm, and I'm thinking about this. And then it's like, bam, I get hit in the head by a soccer ball because I was playing soccer at the time. Of course, the best soccer players do get hit in the head. But I'm not those. I, sometimes I get lost in thought. Yes. I'm sure some of you do too. You have the same malady. It's called being smarter than most people. Uh, of course, almost everyone thinks they're smarter than most people. It's an interesting scientific fact. Is he preparing another check? <laughs> He's using the strat to great effect. So I'm going to check him here, which was dumb. And now... I can make a capture to end Berserk mode. But this is going to be the cool part. <laughs> I'm going to pick up his queen if he takes that. Watch. I'll check him, and then I'll take his queen. I guess there's nothing cool about that. He's doing a good job losing all his pawns, and so I'm starting to get worried at how good he is. He's very good. Is his strategy going to work, though? I don't know. I feel like he's losing all his bonds. <laughs> so is that really smart? I'm not so sure that's a smart thing. Uh, a C4, I guess. I'm starting to get... It's like a contagious disease. Like, oh, I'm starting to move bonds like you are. Just sitting near you is causing this to happen. Uh, there's been a capture. That doesn't mean anything. Save the night course so what if i block this pawn that's a that's a good move right there because he can't move it right but later in the game he can he also can't get rid of it so that's like a constant liability for him fantastic okay this is a good position for me i don't know why anyone wouldn't like this want to trade queens Probably not great for me to trade queens because this king's really exposed, right? So when 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 that kind of fits the thing happens, when ah, speak, man, slowly. That's what that guy was talking about. When I want to trade again, I think I'm winning. So all I have to do is stay out of check, and we can just play chess until I win. <laughs> when there's a, an exposed king on the board, you want to keep material on the board, keep your queen on the board because you can use it for things like uh, checkmating the opponent. Just for example, and so. You, you lose your queen, you can't use your queen for that anymore. That's the general idea of chess. If I check him, then crazy time starts. It's peanut butter crazy time. I'll just do that because I can then follow it up with a capture and end crazy time. Okay, this is good. Okay, okay. You following, guys? This is making sense? You remember the rules. If there's a check, then we have to start moving pawns only. We'll just capture the castle here. But then you can just... Uh, ah. But then you can just capture to end the madness. So I think what I should do is promote a new queen, because I'm not winning by enough yet. That's what I think I should do. Don't let him check me, though. That could be brutal. Hmm. He's going to check me. But after he checks me, I can capture him and end the madness. Okay, I know I'm having to focus on this, so I'm not able to talk about what really matters in life. But after I... Oh, man, he's going to check me again. It's going to be hard to capture him on this next ca this next one, like if he just plays here. Pawn move is required. Mm. Nope, I took knight, I think is my answer to that. Let's give him some time here. You checked. So I need to get out of check. Since I can't move a pawn, any move is allowed. I think that's true. Let's take a look. So he checks me. I have to move a pawn, but I can't. So I can take him. Now we're out of, we've made a capture, so we're back in normal land. So we're good. So we're going to play stupid clock 
it says zero, 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 zero behind my chair there. Of course, I couldn't see that because my chair was blocking it. And so now I lose. But if I was to play here, just for example, okay, okay. So now if he checks me, I could take him. So he's not going to check me. Uh, so he plays here. Then I play here. Then he plays, we're just going to imagine the whole game so that we get some meat out of this, right? So he takes my pawn for real and then I push my pawn, and then I push my pawn, and then I push my pawn, then I have a new queen, right? So then, eh, eh, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Let's play this guy again so we get a, the satisfaction of destroying him on the chessboard, and then we'll maybe do something else. Should have given you time, maybe. Maybe that's true. Okay, so for those of you watching live right now you might be a bit confused if you just wandered in and you're like what is crazy because it seems like this guy is crazy let's not do that um the game starts in berserk mode where you may only make pawn moves so that explains what's going on right now however if a capture is made berserk move mode ends so i've just made some captures so berserk mode is ended i need to set up a checkmate here and real quick because i'm losing my pawns is this good i cannot figure this out He's giving up his pawns. He's using step two of the three-step plan to victory. I wonder if that's smart. I wonder if he's being a super genius here. That's interesting. Hmm. He's trying to lose all his pawns. I think getting rid of queens is a good strategy. So he's he's losing all his pawns, right? So watch out, he's losing all his pawns. What's going to happen after he loses all his pawns? He's going to check me. But in order to do that, he has to have something to check me with. So if I could get rid of queens, he'll have one less powerful piece to check me with. So I'm liking that plan. If he checks me here, I can capture. So as long as you like cover the checking squares, then you know he checks you, but then you capture him then you've ended it before it starts. So just don't get checked in a way where you can't just immediately capture. So this seems okay. It's, it seems like his strategy of destroying himself is actually destroying himself. That's what it seems like to me. We might be okay. Stream title still says Horde. That's not okay. We need to fix that. Let's go to the Twitch house and fix that. This is weird. I wonder if I should take all this stuff. It might be stupid to take all this stuff. But hey, we're gonna we're going to uh, we're going to change the title on the episode over here to Berserk Chess. Berserk variant, we'll say. Because um there's something called berserking, which is something different, and I don't want people to think I'm doing that. That would be so boring. Certainly not. Um He's losing all his pawns very successfully. Has me concerned. I'm going to let him do that, slow him down a little bit, because I need to get my pieces developed here. I need to get my rooks in the game. So if I if I uh, spend all my time taking pawns, I could have a little bit of a problem. Hmm. I no longer feel bad about my existence. I feel that... I feel like I, I deserve to be alive. <laughs> what a revolutionary concept. See if that fixes the stream title. I deserve to be alive. Huh. Could it be true? I mean, am I alive just thanks to the good graces of whatever made me alive? Or do I deserve to be alive? Well, I don't think that's a very simple question at all. <laughs> because if someone were to kill me, I think they would be violating my right to be alive. I, I actually think that would not be okay. <laughs> wow! Philosophy genius discovers murder might not be okay. <laughs> what's, what's important is that I discovered it myself. Okay. <clears throat> he can't check me, so this is actually looking good. I'll just make a new queen here. I think he might be a little too self-destructive. I think his strat of just losing all his things might not have been smart. He's, he's still losing them. Hold on, guys. We don't know until he loses all of them, and then we'll know that it was stupid. But until that time, we don't know. Okay, so. Check. Check. So we're in berserk mode, but now... I've made a capture, so we're fine. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You got problems. <laughs> you got problems. So because murdering me would not be okay, it seems like I have a right to be alive, which would seem like I deserve to be alive, which is revolutionary. Because I think a lot of people feel like they don't deserve their own life. You know? Nobody I know, of course. But maybe you, maybe you watching this think you don't deserve to be alive. I think you're wrong. I think you do. It's not like you did some fantastic thing. It was check, so pawn move. Rook check, so I, am I cheating? Oh. You are right. Hmm. Cheating. Cheat Whiz TV is back at it again. I cannot play Rook takes, whoop, was that? I cannot play Rook takes Rook because there's been a check, so I have to do this. Oh, now I lose my Rook. That's a lot worse. This is a lot worse. Hmm. But at least I deserved it. Okay, don't get checked. Don't get checked, man, because you got a ton of pawns. Let's bring the knight in here. What I should be doing, of course, what is that? What I should be doing is losing all my pawns to be cool like him. But I don't have time for that madness. So instead, I'm going to play chess. We'll see how that goes. He can't check himself. He has to check me. So how's that going to go? I'm not going to check him, that's for sure. <laughs> Uh, unless he makes me do it. Don't you dare make me check you. I don't think he can. I don't know what I'm doing now. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just moving my knight a lot. Don't check me. Okay. He can win that pawn, maybe. Let's try this. <laughs> I don't check him. So here, I guess. No, then he can win that pawn. Let's try this. Oh, no. Don't check him. Don't check him. This, this is going to be serious. A capture. Seems fair. I don't have enough stuff. That's my problem. I'm only ahead by a knight and four pawns. That's my problem. He needed to suicide a lot more than this. Okay. Okay. So don't check him. That's rule number one. Don't check the man. Let's go to a block square. That thing can never check me. And now I've got a pretty good house right here, so that thing can never check me without a capture, which will end the berserk before it starts. So pretty much I can just play chess now. So what? Too bad I don't have any chess skills, because that would be pretty useful. Let's see if I can just promote this pawn. Let's see how that goes. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. I'm like 50% of the way there already. Just halfway. That's almost there. Okay. Looking good. How do we get the rest of the way? Uh, well, I certainly refuse to check you. That's the one thing that's for certain here. I think if I move my bishop... Oh, no, that would be kind of illegal. Um, what? <laughs> what? I think if I move my knight here... Yes. Then I can protect this and push it and then win. What are you doing? You're so crazy. I do have to protect this, though. Let's do that. Kind of allows me to come this way if necessary. Okay. Hmm. My life is really transformed by the revelation that I might deserve to be alive. Because it's also counterintuitive. Since I didn't do anything to be born, it would make sense that I don't deserve to be born. My mind is blown and I'm running out of time. Mm. Oh no, he just added me time. I can think forever. I found one of those doof doofs. Dupes. I found one of those dupes who has created a leak in the chessboard. Look right there. Let's fix that. There we go. I found one of those dupes who will give me infinite time so I can just think forever till I die of old age. Let's see now. If I move one of my chess pieces, it will be his turn. Hmm. But if I don't, it will be my turn. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting.
new plan. I need to, it's, it's because he can't do anything, I have to come up with a multi-move plan. And looking ahead is not my strength. Looking at the present is more of my thing. So I've got a, a look ahead plan here, which involves moving my pieces to different squares. Hope you like it. Which involves using this pawn, right? Because I couldn't use this pawn very effectively in combination with that pawn. But look at this. Now, now I have new powers. And so this is going to be the secret to success for me. Uh, I think he's in, in some trouble. He wants to check me, of course. But he can't, of course. Yeah. This is getting interesting, I think. Or not. It's kind of stupid, but it's interestingly stupid. You know what I mean? It's like a combination of interesting and stupid. If I push, he could check me, and then I will be in trouble. But what if I move here? No. Uh, I do kind of have to go back, because I really don't want to be checked. But here's a new way I can go. No, that won't work at all. Okay, now maybe it will. Because like, this is this is the thing here. here. So, I'm running out of time, though. No, this isn't working at all. Man, I just don't have enough extra stuff. <laughs> no, is this a draw? Don't, don't, don't repeat position. Let's try this. What was that? Uh, the universe is falling apart, but it's gradual. So in the meantime, I think I can win this position before it happens fully. Hold your horses tight. Ask the question. Chess whiz, did you get rich from Bitcoin? Reminds me of that uh, joke where the guy finds, <laughs> this guy, Chess whiz, finds the, finds a, a bottle. And he rubs the bottle and the genie comes out. And he's like, oh, three wishes. This is fantastic. And, and so, of course, my first wish <laughs> was, uh, I wish I was rich. And then the genie's like, poof. Your wish has been granted. And then what happens? I got a queen. And then and then in the next scene, I'm no longer chess whiz. I'm rich. And so all he did was change my name. It looks better in print, okay? It's not so great when you speak it because it, the pun still exists and it makes no sense. Never mind. Um, the answer is no. I didn't get rich from Bitcoin. But thanks for asking. How are you? Is another question in the chat. That is a very good question. Very good. I appreciate it the profundity of your question. So here's the plan. My knight needs to attack this square. It's going to take a while because of the way they move, right? But if I just go here and then here, that'll do ya. Oh, I can't quite do it now. Hmm. Okay, I need to not be checked. Let's go this way. It's so difficult to not get checked. What if I just lose all my pawns? Then I'm going to have a rook into bishop and a knight and all this junk. Maybe I should just do that. Uh, is that enough to win? Rook, bishop, and knight against rook? Yeah. So if I lose this pawn, and then I lose this pawn. Oh. Uh. I don't trust myself. <laughs> I'd better get this one a little further here. Um, I can see why you'd be bored by this. It's pretty boring. But I am making progress, as you can see. He cannot check me without getting captured, which will end, end the sequence. So this is working. I know it took me like 30 minutes to win this chess position, but it's working now. Um. Yeah, and then here. Brilliant! Oh, yes, this is the perfect balance of good moves and bad moves. I think this should work. At any rate, it seems advantageous since he'll have nothing but a king. It'll be hard to lose anyway. Uh, is this checkmate? 
Checkmate. Very good. Very good. I'm so glad we played that game. Checkmate. Uh, that was fantastic. Zero sixty four. I wasted a lot of time trying to checkmate you, and I wasted a lot of time if you consider all the viewers. Hundreds of people will watch this in the future on YouTube, and so if that took like five minutes. That's five hundred minutes, or about eight hours and 20 minutes. Actually, it's exactly that long. Let's play with Try Hard. He's been waiting a long time, and I think he deserves a game. So we're going to play this game, and we're going to play it a lot faster because he's not going to add a ton of time to my clock. That was the mistake of 064. He continued to add time, and I only move when I have one second left on my clock. Have you noticed that? And so because of that fact, I did never move my, my never, I never moved my, my pieces, which is why that took so long. Okay, there's another question in the chat. It says, should have taken bishop first, then promote. Good question. I can't agree less. Another question in the chat. Wouldn't it have been better to pin the bishop to the king first? Great suggestion. I don't remember the game, though. Mango Town Plaza High. That's a good comment right there. There's a guy in the chat named. You don't have to move that. There's been a capture, right? Capture, so we're calm. And then he's moving, but I'll just capture him again. Look, free stuff. I'll take with the bishop. Okay, there's been a capture. Let's help this guy out. There's been... A capture, cap, a cap, a computer. <laughs> There's been a computer, so you can move anything, anything at all, approximately. Although you can't move my queen, I think. Comment from the chat. Not boring. The best game. And then there's a kind of an inappropriate comment. So I'm gonna mute that comment. Isn't there a thing you can do here? Uh. My computer's broken and I can't mute it. Doesn't look like this guy's destroying himself like my last opponent. So maybe I have to play chess for a while. I could use his strategy. Let's get this bishop out. <laughs> I mean, it's just dumb sitting there. Don't use bishops as pawns. That's a good piece of advice in chess. You should use bishops as bishops whoa because when they are behind pawns like this they really are just like pawns and that's pawns are that's not as good as bishops okay so here's the idea if he takes me then i'm gonna get his bishop for a pawn or two and that's pretty good now he can check me now here's my logic about that i thought about that because i have a brain and i used it for thinking and i thought i don't have very many pawns left i just have five right? But he has hundreds of pawns. So after he checks me, then it's pawn game, and I don't have much pawns. So it's going to be good. It's going to be good. In fact, I'm going to take his queen. Watch. Check. I have to move. Now he has to do a pawn thing, and I'm like, I'm like this. Deep. And then he has to do a pawn thing, and I'm like, doop. <laughs> his queen's gone. So that's pretty good. You better check me now. Check me now. Oh, okay, he doesn't check me, but that's okay, because I can just check him. And then how can I win his queen? Something like this. Okay, so let's do it. Ready? Check. Pawn move is required, except uh, he can't make a pawn move, so ignore that bit. And then we're going to, and then we're going to go here, which uh, ignore the fact he can capture this. Just ignore that, okay? It's going to be good. Ignore that. Okay, so now there's been a capture. Everything is calm except for I'm about to destroy his face. Let's see. Queen takes queen. Uh, doesn't destroy his face. Let's see. I could check him. Oh, I could check him, and that won't really be helpful. Will it? Hmm. Check him this way. He captures. Can I do anything super epic here? You know what I think I'd like to do? Check him again. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so now we're in crazy, crazy berserk mode. I think berserk mode is good for me because I don't have very many pawns compared to his massive quantity. So let's, let's try to take the knight. So it's interesting. We're learning something new about berserk mode here, which is uh, you try to take something valuable with a pawn, right? Oh, there's been a capture. There's been a capture. I can't check him right now. So let's get ready for a check here. I'm just going to try to re-enter berserk mode over and over. I'm going to use that to my advantage. Check! Now we're berserking. He can just like doop doop and take my knight, but we're ignoring that, okay? Just don't worry about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I'm cheating. Hold on. I'm cheating. Where, where's the button that uncheats? Oh, yeah, this uncheat button. Uh, okay, I have to move a pawn. Let's go here. Because then I can, like, capture and check at the same time. Whoa. Cool. I think. We're going to pretend that it's the capture first and then the check so that we go into berserk mode. Then we'll have more berserking. Ooh, I have to move a pawn again. Okay, so there's going to be a capture here. Come on, man. Come on, you got to capture this. This is so good. 
you know what I like about this? Try Hard Chess has been on the show every episode, and yet he has no rating. Okay, there's been a capture. So now I'll check him back to Berserk. I love, I hope you love it. Because now we're berserking again. Let's go dupe and then take your knight for free. I love going dupe. It's my favorite sound. Dupe. Here we go. Capture. Okay, move whatever you want. Because you have not moved any pieces yet this game, I think I'm going to win. I could check him. Go back into berserk mode here. <clears throat> but I think I'll pick up the free bishop first. And then I'll check him. <laughs> Oh, we're in berserk mode, guys. Okay, so I have to move upon. So do you. So do you. This is fantastic. I love this variant. You know the key? The key to loving the variant you're playing? You hacker. You were checked. So you must, you must, must be stupid now. Does that say stupid? It's close enough. Okay, now I can move upon. Now you're out of check. Oh, there's been a capture. Oh, so now we're now we're smart people. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So let's check him again. <laughs> check again, man. What are you gonna do? Move out of check. And then it's Berserky time. Okay. Um, the key to enjoying your chess variant, I have studied this extensively, and by that I mean I've played 437 chess variants on this show. Uh, if you count chess and StarCraft 2. We did play StarCraft 2 on one of these episodes because that's, I'm kind of weird. And I've concluded that in order to like a variant, what you need to do is win. Check, ha ha, <laughs> you're in berserk mode and I has no pawns. So now I set up a victory. How do I do that? It's something about checkmate. I need to do a thing called checkmate. How do you do that? Hmm. Let's see, here, and then here. Oh, I could check him any, okay. And then that'll be checkmate. But if he pushes that, it's not. So don't move that pawn, man. That's just going to delay the inevitable. Okay, that, that's a good choice. Good choice. Checkmate. Oh, nice. I figured out how to win at Berserk Chess. Uh, take all those things. No, lose all your pawns. That's weird. I don't really know what I did, but it worked really well. Do you want to play again? Try hard. I don't have time for you. I got to go play Game Genesis. But thanks for the game. Next episode, you'll be back and we'll play another weird variant. So that'll be fun. Josh loves Jesus in the chat. I hope that's Josh loves Jesus. It could be Josh loves Jesus, which would mean he's in a, a prison, a Mexican prison right now. Loving Jesus. Um, Mango Town Travis also in the chat. That was an inappropriate joke. I apologize. Fortunately, I, I never say anything inappropriate without apologizing. <laughs> that's what keeps me alive. Oh, we have to move pawns. You know what? I, I don't think I opened in my smartest opening here. Not my smartest opening. My smartest opening is probably my left ear. Oh, that's going to be a capture. That's kind of stupid. Get it? Because it's an opening into my head. You don't get it? Come on. Come on. You can do better. You can detect those puns and groan appropriately. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Do you know why Beethoven got rid of his chicken? You do, but you don't. You don't. You know why Beethoven got rid of his chicken? Because his chicken kept saying, bok, bok, bok. Don't tell me you didn't get that one. Come on. We're playing chess now, and we've got this weird thing going on. Hmm. This might require thinking. Usually I'm able to win without thinking. But every now and then I have to throw in some thinking just to spice it up. I'll take that, because I could check him now, and then <laughs> let's not do it yet. Let's save the night, because when you're in berserk mode, this is something I've just learned after 45 minutes of playing this chess variant, when you're in berserk mode, he could capture you to get out of berserk mode, and so he can just like, you know, dupe dupe and take the thing with his dupe, and so that's just one example of how he could do that. So if I leave this here, it would be over. You just take the knight. So I want to get into a berserk mode that he cannot escape, and I can escape by capturing a queen. That's the goal. Then he would not have a queen, right? So get his queen out there. This is, this is the new plan. The three-step plan to victory, throw that out. This is the two-step plan to victory. It's way better. 50%, I think. Could be 33%. Give him a little time here. Um, first, step one, get his queen into a danger zone. That's step one. Okay, let's pin that bishop. Step two, 
uh, enter berserk mode. That's all the steps, okay? Because then automatically your pawn just goes and takes his queen, just like happens. You don't need any more steps. It's just a natural consequence of the first two steps. So that's pretty much how to win. Okay, so can, can I do that yet? He's not in danger zone yet. Let's keep working on this. Let's see. Uh, he's pinned, so this would be cool, right? This is like punching a guy who can't move. Never mind, he moved. I made that analogy because you do that a lot, so you can relate to that, I'm sure. I'm sure that you spend a lot of time punching guys who can't move. I'm thinking that's probably true. So I can now check him, which would enter berserk mode. Da -da 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 -da. I think that would be pretty stupid, though. His queen's not in danger yet. Hmm. Is he going to, like, win my queen? That would be bad. Let's get ourselves castled here. So he can't really check me, but I can check him. So that's good. Now, do I lose all my pawns, or do I get his queen in danger? Well, we're castled on opposite sides, so let's just try a crazy pawn storm, where you lose all your pawns. That's a, usually a good strategy. In an opposite side's castling position. I don't want to lose this cool bishop, though. So let's move it up in here. I have a better idea. Checkmate him. <laughs> All right, a new plan emerges. Checkmate the opponent. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing he can do except lose. <laughs> Here we go. So much for Berserk chess. Don't you wish this were not chess where I win? That's the kind of chess it is. Hmm. So if I check him, then we're in Berserk mode. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. I don't see the advantage. That's too bad. That's called premature celebration. Uh, one time I was playing a game, you know, it wasn't chess, it was just a game. And my opponent sent GG <laughs> during the game, <laughs> which seemed to imply a bit of overconfidence. So I got super angry at his rudeness. And then, and then I played super well and I beat him. That felt good. If you've ever beat someone who said GG, wow, that feels good. That, that, that's one of the best feelings in life. Not the best, not the best, but among the best feelings in life. So if I check him right now, oh, what, what's, why do you need a take back? Because that, Was that a stupid blunder? Is that why you need a take back? I need that kind of thing all the time. Okay, so let's <laughs> check it. Yeah, man. Good job. You don't want to play rook a1. No, that's bad. You want to play rook he1 because of the cool checkmate that I can do to you. That was nice for me. Nice. Thanks for helping out, opponent. The game starts in berserk mode, where you may only make pawn moves, if possible. If a capture is made... Too many stuff on the field. I, I, I think that all the time. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and the first thing I think is too many stuff on the field. Too many stuff. If a capture is made, berserk mode ends. Let me check the rules here. Then if a check is made, berserk mood mode starts again. Okay, that makes sense. A capture was made, so berserk mode it just ended. Now, don't move your queen to danger zone, okay? Because if your queen is sitting out here, all he has to do is start berserk mode and then doop doop, take it with the dupes. Don't let that happen. Uh, it's better to just leave his pawn in the middle of the board like this. Yeah. Uh, I'm in check. I'm in check. Ah, ah, ah. I have to move a pawn. Okay. Now I think there might be a capture. We're just going to end berserk mode. Here's another capture. Let's take with a pawn, right? Now let's take with a pawn. That allows my bishop more freedom of movement. In case one of these five locations isn't good enough, now I have another two. Perfect. Okay. So should I go with the three-step plan to victory or the two-step plan to victory? If I remember correctly, the three-step plan involves losing all your pawns, and then that, that doesn't work. So I'm starting to think the two-step plan might be better, which involves taking his queen for free. Yeah, let's go with the two-step plan. Hmm. Hmm. What about the one-step plan? Checkmate him. Because if I just like... That's checkmate. I could go with that. Oh, he's moving. So much harder to hit a moving target. What if I trap his queen?
Hmm. Well, I'm doing a very rare activity. I'm, I'm defending this pawn. I like it. It's kind of weird liking a pawn in Berserk Chess, but I, I like it. A very rare activity. It's called Thinking. Most people, they just stay away from it entirely. It takes too much energy. Seriously. But every now and then, I accidentally overlook my pledge to not think. Oh, three attackers. A vast quantity. <clears throat> what if I move here? If I go here, I would be attacking his bishop. Okay. Attacking a bishop. That's good enough for me. A bishop is under attack. Nothing else matters. Then I could play here. That's powerful right there. Because I'm in there right there, you know. I'm defending this pawn. At the same time, he's not doing anything. Like, he hasn't moved this stuff. That's bad for him. This is kind of like chocolate chip ice cream. Because it's bad for him. <laughs> Good. It's more like cyanide, actually. Okay, what are you doing? Losing your stuff for free. Okay. Okay, I'll just take that then. Thank you very much. I'll take with a knight, because that's a third attacker right there. Oh, no, I'm in check. I have to move a pawn. Uh, I can't. So now I will take his bishop. That's a capture. Berserk mode is over. Oh, I love it. Okay, my queen's under attack. This calls for a checkmate. Um, uh, <laughs> I can't resist this move, right? Except now we're in berserk mode. So, um... Why are you offering that? Is there... I'm not going to do anything yet. Is there a problem? No. I can't. Because Rook takes F2. Ended Berserk. Hold on. I have to spell Berserk correctly. I think it's different in different countries. Like Berserk with an S in one area of the planet. And then Berserk with a Z in another area. Cancel. So I'll give you two takebacks. Just don't run me out of time, yo. He was running me out of time, so I had to move. So we're not going to take back. It seems like he wouldn't have wanted to play C6 if he didn't have to. Uh, okay, there's been a capture. There's been a capture. Oh. <laughs> I have to move faster. Okay, there's 34 seconds. When I get really low on time, all I can say is, uh. But when I say it, I say it with conviction. Oh, no, there's been a check. That's not what I want. <gasps> no, I want it. I want it, guys. Okay. Check it out. Check, check. Get it. Check it out. Okay. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take his queen. Oh, I'm too slow. But fortunately, I can checkmate him instead. Ding dong! The witch is dead. I think I have time for no more games. Oh, Genki Chess, I would really love to play you. In 064, I'd really love to play you again. I'm sorry that I'm so popular. More popular than I can handle. But what you guys can do, since you're watching the show right now, is challenge each other. So since you're watching this show live, put your, put your challenge in the chat. Here's how you do it. You click Lee Chess. It's the best thing to click. And then play with a friend. And then... Random side, of course. Don't pick white. That's not fair. And then put this link in the chat. You guys can play each other because I got to go right now because I have something that's very rare. It's called a life. This has been Chesmas TV. Thanks for watching.